Hello and welcome to McMullen Park for another Spartan South Midlands Football League clash between Real Bedford and Rawns Town. Remember, remember the 5th of November, it's Guy Fawkes Day here in the United Kingdom. I can't guarantee you fireworks on your screen for the next 90 minutes, but I can guarantee you a Real Bedford side ready to spark their footballing magic. You will see Real Bedford sporting the poppy on their shirt. Deep to their own half, they clear. All floating over the top. It's Jordan Brown, he's on his way through already. Brown goes for the goal. It's a brilliant save by George Anthony. He's been tested early on in this game for Real Bedford. Walker goes for the shot, goes for goal. What a save that is from Anthony. He's been tested a few times today. Busu. Hitchcock lines it up for Corbett. Great work, patient work on the edge of the box. Ball flies in from Wood in towards Jordan Brown off the upright. Brown once again, ever so dangerous. Still not over. More work to do for Ron's Town. Knight. Clifford, time and space to work with. Back in tonight. Good. Goes to the other side, finds a Wilson. Looks to give it to Wood, but goes himself. Shot flied in, but wasn't accurate. Jordan Brown yeah. once again. Brown with the goal. Hitchcock, sorry. They've been searching and trying. Hitchcock fires it home. Well, they've been completely on it, looking for that second goal. Goal music going here at McMullen Park. Brilliantly taken goal from Hitchcock. One touch, half volley, a pass to Walker. Just didn't work in that final third. Hitchcock finds Walker again. Seems to be all Real Bedford at this moment in time. Ball flies in. Brown trying to get the shot away. Hitchcock evades. Awusu taps it home. Chicken celebration in use. Awusu scores once again. Ever so elegant in build up from Real Bedford. Kevin Owusu gives them the third of this game to retain possession. Owusu ever so lively on this left-hand side. It's a brilliant piece of work. From Walker, looks to go inside, goes for the goal. What a goal it was. Made by himself, finished off by himself. Struggled with injury this season, but Dan Walker fires home to give Real Bedford their fourth. What a run. Never so pacey. In form, I'm so used to seeing it. It's great to have him back every single week. Wearing the orange. Playing for the team. Chance for Rawns Town, though, on this left-hand side. Just driving in towards the box was Conde. Ball flies out. What an attempt that was, and what a save by McGregor. That was a huge opportunity for Rawlins Town. BT with the shot. Hitchcock into Dan Walker. Gives it to Brown. Brown flies it in. Header is there for Corbett. Just couldn't get himself over the top of the ball. Something else for these players to deal with and then understand, but that's brilliant work from Clifford to keep a hold of the ball. Trapping it in his feet, but Walker gives it to Brown. Brown inside towards Hitchcock. Ball floats in, it's Hitchcock. Just wide of the face of the goal. Side of the pitch. eerie atmosphere as there's a light fog and drizzle of rain but it's not stopping this Real Bedford side from getting another goal and look who it is Andy Sinclair reels away in celebration 
was ever such good work from Matt Clifford on this left-hand side. And Andy Sinclair was there. And he makes it five. It's great to see this Raoul Bedford side smiling, enjoying every single moment. Goes quickly. Walker in support, but Luke Knight puts it back in towards the box. And it was on there for Utteridge. Just couldn't find the final final pass, final moment. And once again, Rayal Bedford score. It's Hitchcock. That's his hat trick. Rayal Bedford players swarm him to celebrate. What a great achievement that is. Hitchcock once again. All it took was one pass on from that right hand side. And it's Hitchcock once again. It gives Rail Bedford their sixth of the game for Rail Bedford once again. Rain is starting to come down in its form. And once again, Rail Bedford are through. And another goal added to the tally. Can't quite tell whether that was Sinclair or Hitchcock once again. Hitchcock seems to be the man of the hour. I believe he's got his fourth. I might need to end my man of the match votes because what a performance from that man. Hitchcock once again gets another for Real Bedford. Bedford once again is driving into the deep into the Rawnstown territory. Searching, looking for opportunities. Rawnstown do clear, but Gordon's there to place it into Jordan Brown. His famous celebration once again. Real Bedford. Absolutely ridiculous, relentless. And raucous. Real Bedford. Brown gets his first of the game. Defence yes, has been on. tested. Sinclair once again looks to provide Raoul Bedford with another attacking opportunity. And it's Walker with the shot. Just goes wide. Floats one in. Oh, it's brilliant work from Real Bedford. Number nine on the score sheet. None other than Matt Clifford. A thing of beauty from Real Bedford. Number four to number three. Club captain Luke Knight to Matt Clifford. Oh, we saw a 9 1 in the cup earlier this season. And now we're seeing a 9 0 at McMullen Park. Real Bedford said. <laughs> Full time here at McMullen Park. Remember, remember the 5th of November. And any Real Bedford fan will remember the 5th of November as a 9 0 win. Historic scenes here in Bedfordshire is Real Bedford. Dominance and ruthless. See off Rawnstown. 